All right, guys, I'm coming at you with something pretty unique right here. We got an early access beta key to Shadows of Klardansk. Uh This is a Gaijin uh, supported game. As you can see, it's got the uh, Gaijin Incubator. Gaijin is a company that supports indie developers, and they um, they're the they make the popular game War Thunder but they also make a lot of other games plus they support companies that make a lot of games so um, yeah they're they're pretty big so now Clargansk and because I'm a because I'm a partner with Gaijin they sent me a, an early access code a couple of days before the game is actually supposed to be released onto early access so this is like pre early access <laughs> and uh, it's supposed to be a horror survival game okay and it looks a little bit on the venue of like the artwork looks a little like Borderlands or maybe a Telltale game it's kind of cartoony cell shading kind of look that's what I that's what I saw in the video um, I don't know what story survival adventure or settings are <laughs> we're just gonna go straight to the story We'll figure this out. Tutorial. That's good. I need one of them. So, so you can kind of see the cell shading a little bit. Okay. Which is cool. I'm okay with that. It's supposed to be a horror game. Ooh. Okay. I'm using my mouse. Pointing. Got my AWSD going on. What? Need to get out. I don't like this place. I need to get out of here. It's really starting to feel like a trap. I see a way out over there where the trees are, but I can't get through there. I need to somehow cut down at least one tree. Okay, do I have an inventory? Let's click I. Mm, nothing. Looks like I got some papers. Uh, what is I need to make a primitive axe from. Oh, so I'm building stuff. Simply go to the highlighted item on the ground and pick it up automatically. Stick. Do I have... So I have a stick. Now I need a sharp stone. What could be sharper than flint? There's an E mode. Oh, I'm just picking up extra sticks for no reason. Okay. That's a little uh, early access right there, actually. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to be picking up. Ah, nice. I can swing my stick. Ah. That's stone. I have a stick and flint. Let's try to make a flint axe. I hope I don't waste my time reading adventure stories as a kid. Uh, how do I do that? How do I make something? Uh, recipe? F. F. Nice. Did it. Left mouse button. out of here as far as I remember from the stories nothing good awaits me in the zone but I can't sit here forever now these fallen trees look like they create things for me to pick up like wood would I will I need wood later should I chop all these trees down should I go back in here and click on whatever that is Nope. Okay. Rat meat. Okay. Okay, I'm exploring. 
There's an alternative loot pickup method E. This method allows you to decide whether you want to pick up the item. I'm going auto. Find an apple. I'm not hungry yet, but I still need to start building up a stock of food. apples. Okay, F2. Kill a rat. I did that. I need firewood. Okay, you can just hold the mouse button down. I don't have to keep clicking. Looks like I'm picking up nails, too. Okay, good. I don't need to kill or chop down everything. Of course, the house is attracting me. Natural anomaly lies ahead. Anomalies can burn you with fire, electrocute you, slow you down, make you go insane, make your journey more difficult in many other ways, try to avoid anomalies. Take it into account that some can have a positive effect. One anomaly. Oh. What's this a house before we took off the pilot's joke that if we went into a house like that in the zone, you'd go no nuts. Uh, right. Why am I blacking out? Because of that anomaly? Overweight. Okay, so am I clicking I? What do I not need? Bark? It says, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, that's cool. What the heck? The zombie. Attack me while I was looking at my body. Looking at my inventory.
Pas vraiment quoi. Still overweight. Oh, I just picked up all the stuff I dropped, probably. Got crouched down. How do I jump? Whoa, that's my journal. Okay. I just threw something. Let's kill this axe. Let's kill this guy. Any idea what I'm doing? Have fire fuel. How do I use that? Eating some cooked meat can make me feel a lot better.
Get it. It says 11, so it must be cooking. Lower my weight. It's ten PM, day one. jump yet. I don't know if jumping is even an option. I'm hitting space. That's not, I must not be jump. Let's go to controls. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Crouch, run, attack, reload, next, previous, throw, switch items, interaction, cancel, skip. Yeah, there is no jumping. At least the minutes are going by pretty quick. It's almost midnight. still alive.
out my daylight. I don't know what that ten is. Oh, that's food, probably. Yeah, it looks like a stomach, so that should be my food. My brain, my, I don't know what, battery? I don't know. And then, my health. And that's what I'm kind of guessing what those symbols are at the top. Alright, well we've been playing for about 20 minutes now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to break up this video. We're going to come on back to another video once the day starts again. Or if something interesting happens before the day starts.